Hey freaky people, it's super freaky, when are you? Um, I have my uh, swap stuff to show you guys for, uh, from Nikki Corona. Um, I actually just tried to do this a minute ago and uh, had an asthma attack. <laughs> so I had to stop and, uh, and use my inhaler a few times. So I'm going to do it all over again, except for this time I'm going to hurry because when I stopped it, it was at 20 minutes and that's just far too long. Anyhow, Nikki Corona and I have haven't been having, or the Nikki Corona or Nikki, however you know her. And if you don't know her, you should be looking her up like right now in the down bar. Um, we've had this swap going since August, September, October, I don't know, a long time ago. Uh, so long ago, I don't remember. Um, Nikki's one of the first people I met when I started YouTube. Uh, and she did this video where she was drinking cranberry juice and pretending to be a, a newborn vampire. And... And, and it was twisted. <laughs> I liked it a lot. You know, because I thought, hey, that's my kind of girl. And, uh, and I was right. And out of everybody that I've met on YouTube, and I've, I've met some of the most wonderful people I've ever met in my entire life on YouTube, online, never having seen them in person, but know that I will have lasting friendships. I find that amazing. Um, and in Nikki, I found a sister, um, a friend, and a partner in crime. <laughs> so, yeah. She thinks they overdid her swap box, and I probably did. Um, but in my defense, I've had that. I've been working on that like for months, and I love her. And I overdo everybody's swaps. But the thing is, is that I, my swaps never work out. I've had swaps set up with like people you wouldn't believe. People that you're like, no, she would never, and she did. Okay, so um, I, I've had more, my first swap that finally went through just was like a month ago, and and, uh, and now Nikki, and I have Rhonda Dunn, and I've got one uh, with Shih Tzu Lover coming up, and now I'm gonna be doing one next month with Serenity Rain, and those are all people I know that won't screw me. <laughs> um, if you ask me to do a swab with you and we exchange information, know that I'm going to start buying for you. And then if you like completely forget about it or ignore me or tell me to ha 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 donate the stuff to charity, that really pisses me off. But that's not what this video is about. This video is about Nikki, my sister from another mister. Um, she got me some really nice stuff, and she put a lot of thought into what she got me. She bought me stuff that she knew that I would love, and she found me stuff, um, that means a lot to me, personally. So, um, that being said, four minutes in, I'm actually going to start showing you stuff. Um, the first thing she got, and I love this so much, I'm going to put it in my nook if I, John ever finished as it. Uh, he's... I'm supposedly getting my own dedicated makeup station nook where I'm going to keep all my makeup and stuff in the other bathroom upstairs because we have a big space open where we have nothing but cat litter boxes because it's like the spot for a washer dryer up here if we wanted one and we never did so there's a lot of room so he's supposed to build me a nook. Let's see if I ever get it. I'm still waiting on my corner sports. But anyhow, if I ever get my nook, look at what I'm going to put in it. She got this from her favorite Chinese restaurant. And look, the menu's on the back. So when I go visit her someday, we'll already know what to eat. <laughs> so look at 
and it's glittery. Glittery peacocks. That is just so me. <laughs> so, um, I, I know everyone thinks my obsession with peacocks is probably stupid, but they mean a lot to me personally. I mean, there's a reason I like peacocks. And maybe one day I'll share it. <laughs> um, let's see. Next thing she got me was a leopard print hair bow headband. Look. To aid me in my never-ending quest of turning myself into Leopard Girl 283. See? That's cute. Isn't that? That is so cute. I don't know about the gold thing under it, but it's damn cute. So, and then, even more leopard print, she got me a sunglasses case in pink leopard print to replace the silver snakeskin one that my husband stepped on. It was a Kate Landry, too. Mm, just crushed it. <laughs> so, but now I have this, and it's more leopard print. And then I got this little bag uh, to put in my purse. I already decided I don't want to put change in it or anything. I want to put makeup. I don't have a makeup bag in my purse. Uh, I know most people do, but I have, like, travel brushes, and then I just throw in whatever. I don't... I'm not that organized, but I think I want to do is put in, like, some warm and some cool lipsticks in here and then have them live in my purse so that I always have lip color and then maybe do something in here too I don't know so it's very cool and it's all blingy and I like me some bling um next thing she got me was the elf uh, kabuki brush yeah, it looks like that and it is so this is much softer than any of my e.l.f. brushes that I have. Um, I don't know if it's because it's the, the white kind. Um, you know, they have the new white brushes they started making that they say it's for minerals. Um, if they're all this soft, I'll be buying them. <laughs> I know they have a stippling brush. I tried to get it on the sale last week, but it was gone. So... But I will definitely be using the Kabuki. But I learned my lesson. Don't use white brushes with red or pink. Okay, inside the sunglasses case, there's actually some makeup. Um, there was NYX. Now, I uh, I actually, she asked what, what brand of makeup do you want? And I said NYX because I can't get it here. Although I do have an Ulta opening now on April 7th and 8th, I think. Um, is the grand opening, so I'll be able to buy NYX and stuff. Hopefully, I mean, I hope they'll have NYX there. But the only thing I've ever tried in NYX are the glitter palettes that I use for the random contest I enter. And uh, I have one jumbo pencil and milk, and actually just bought a second, and that's it. That's all I have. Um, she got me this, which is the, the long pencil, NYX long pencil eye. And it is in brown. Um, yep, plain old brown. <laughs> and uh, I've, I'm like really excited. This is I haven't I haven't used this stuff, um, except for well, I'll show you. Um, so I I've been saving it. And then I also got some Nyx jumbo pencils. I got one in cottage cheese, which I love this color. And one in French fries. And I'm actually going to put two marks down on the French fries. So that's cottage cheese, and these two are French fries. Um, I like that it's off white. Um, I can use it more for uh, lining the inner part of my eye. And. Uh, Sometimes the white base is just too much on the milk, so this will be nice to have. Um, and then along with that, she got me something I have been dying 
to try and it's the NYX Pearls. Um, she chose this one for me which is White Pearl. I'm going to show you them real quick. Ooh, messy. Maybe a little brush would have been better. Okay, and then this one is brown. I'll show you when I'm done. And these go really good over the jumbo pencils that she chose, which was on purpose. I mean, she did that on purpose. And she picked colors that she thought that I would really like and that would look really nice with my eyes. And I am loving this rust color so much. Okay. This is the off-white. That's the brown. And then that's the rust pearl. Aren't those, they just like glow. They're so pretty. You know? And that's just sticking them on with my hand. Just touching the inside of the lid. So I'm looking really looking forward to trying those. Uh, I have a feeling that I'm going to want, like, I know that you can get, like, entire sets on YouTube. YouTube, eBay. I keep confusing those two. And then the last thing in there is a lipstick. This is my first NYX lipstick. It is really pretty in a pale, pale pink. And it's called um, Athena. And it's part of, like, their... There it is right there. Part of their uh, mythology collection, I think she said. Uh, and I did cheat and wear this. Um, and it's very moisturizing. It's not drying at all. Uh, and it has like little reflex and stuff in it. It's very pretty. So, and then let's just finish up the makeup now. I got this too. This is the um, uh, Million Night England Fabulous Palette. Um, if it looks familiar, it's because um, Nikki has one and she gave one away for uh, her contest um, or her giveaway. No, it's a contest. Um, so I'm going to see if I can do like a quick, quick, super fast swatch of colors for you. Okay, there's purple, there's pink. Actually, this is called Rock Chick, Delilah, Princess, Paradise, in Full Bloom. And... Okay, sorry. Having trouble with that one. Okay, this one is caramel, uh, gold dust, galaxy, um, camo, and glacier. <sighs> that one gouged. Now it's all powdery. Okay, and it comes with a little, it has a little mirror, and then it has the applicator, which is like a half sponge, half brush. And it is very pretty. I like the, like the, the whole top row is like colors, and then the whole bottom row are like neutrals that you can pair them with. So that's really nice. And the pigmentation is really nice on that too. Um, then she got me these two things from Bath and Body Works. Um, and it is Secret Wonderland uh, Triple Moisture Body Cream and then the matching uh, Fragrance Mist. I have not smelled this scent before. Uh, I am going bananas for it. It smells so good. It's like... I, I can't even explain it. It's like a sweet but spicy floral scent. I mean, I can't even, I don't know how to explain it. It's sweet and spicy at the same time. It smells absolutely incredible. Um, it's just the kind of scent that I like. And 
Um, Nikki and I actually have really similar tastes in in smells. <laughs> but like, you know, we tend to get like the same Lush products, the, like uh, Karma and uh, and uh, she was talking about a perfume and I went and smelled it and like fell in love with it. So um, she just picked out something she liked and I love it. Um, and then I got two bracelets. I got this one right here, which is really pretty. A little Asian inspired bracelet. And then this one, which opens this way. And it's a big honking one. Big honking flower bracelet with like a little, uh, rhinestone in there. Wow, lost words. Okay, and then, crap, 15 minutes. Okay, then I got nail polish remover pads. I need those so desperately. It's not even funny. I've been getting off my nail polish by chewing it. I'm out completely. And then um, I got three of the chocolate masks. Uh, she did these in her video, one of her videos. Um, I remember it. <laughs> and uh, she liked it so much that she's been... Uh, continuing to purchase them and she got me some too it is deep pore cleansing and she says it smells so good I will want to eat it and then I got a little jeweled hair clip which is great because I've been wearing my hair up a lot more lately because it has now been since last June I haven't gotten a cut except for my bangs which I did myself and totally screwed up this last time totally okay so I'm almost done um, she got me owl earrings, super cute. They go with my owl necklace that I bought over, uh, over the winter during my Christmas shopping. Um, and then she got me these guest earrings, but she didn't get them because they're guests. She got them because they're G's for Gickler. So... I have personalized earrings now, and I actually have a G pink earring <laughs> that I can wear with it, so it'll be really cool. I like them a lot. They're very nice. Super cute. Okay, and then two more things, and these two things mean a lot. Um, I don't know how many of you know it. Actually, I think you all probably might know it if you saw, like, I bring the freak, in, or I put the freak in super freaky one. Are you? I think I said it in there. I said it somewhere. Um, that I named Alex after a character uh, in Buffy the Vampire Slayer. Um, I wanted him to be named Xander. Uh, his father and I settled on Alexander. I was hoping we would all call him Xander when he was born. People started calling him Baby Alex. Um, even now I keep telling him he should change his name. Oh, no, no, no. He just woke up. Change his name and be Xander. So she got me these. Mama. Hold on just one second. Buffy the Vampire Slayer. Uh, deck of cards. Um, and, you know, it has, like, all the cards. Like, I got a faith card. And I got like a Willow and Xander card and here's a Buffy card a J Giles card so and then it also came with a visitor's map so funny it's a visitor's map to Sunnydale <laughs> and it has like you know the cemetery and all the stuff and where uh, you know the magic shop was and the bronze and all that is all on here. And uh, and then the last thing she got me along those same lines is she got me a Buffy the Vampire Slayer comic book. And I actually own some of these. I got them when they first came out. We got the first like five or six. And then John stopped buying them. So I don't have this. And so I'm very excited about it. Okay, that's it. Another long video. I'm very sorry. Nikki, I love you so, so very much. And, uh, you're my bestie.
<laughs> Stay freaky people. Oh.